Hello, I am traveling back to Belize. And in this video, I answer most of the questions I get in my emails and comment section about traveling to Belize and Mexico while sharing my experience traveling back to Belize. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Since I started making videos about Belize in the last three years, I've been answering a lot of questions, mostly from my African brothers and sisters, on how they can also visit this amazing country, Belize, and even Mexico. I find myself saying the same things to numerous people daily, and I've decided to make this video to answer most of these questions. So, if you have any questions about traveling to Belize, please watch this video to the end, and I'm sure your question will be answered. And please do not forget to like and subscribe as well. Before I start answering these questions, I'd like to start with how I ended up living and working in Belize for nearly four years. As you probably know by now, I am a Ghanaian who live and work in the UK. And in January 2018, I was lucky to be sent by my employers to go and work in Belize. Most of my travel plans and documents were made for me, and all I had to do was to turn up with my family. I didn't have to apply for any visa or even book any hotels. It was all done for me. It was when I started making videos that I came across these travel questions about Belize. I've lived there, worked there, and I can give you the picture. So let's get into the questions. Thank you very much. First question, is Belize visa free for my country? If you want to know if you require visa to Belize or not, please go to passportindex.org. Passportindex.org. Click find from the top right hand corner. Then click the first letter of your country. Example, G for Ghana. Look for the country and click on it. On the right side, you see the list of countries and whether they are visa free to your country or not. In this case, we go to Belize and it is visa free. I must say there is a higher chance that you have to make a transit stop in another country when traveling to Belize from a country in Africa. And therefore, there is a higher chance that you will require a transit visa for that country. Please go to skyscanner.com to search for the right flights from your country to Belize. I'm not really sure how transit visas are processed. Please speak to your travel and tour company for more information. Now, this part is very important for African visa-free countries to Belize. From speaking to at least three people who wanted to visit Belize from Ghana, this is what I gathered about visa-free countries. Three of them, after buying their tickets, were told by their travel agent that they needed an authority to board. This, according to their travel agent, is a proof to say that they are solely going to Belize on vacation and not for economic reasons. They were told that ways to prove this is to get an invitation letter from someone settled in Belize or from a tour company to prove you are only in Belize for vacation. This eventually proved difficult to obtain and made it difficult for these people to travel to Belize. Why is it difficult to get an invitation letter from someone settled in Belize? From what I gathered, People who provide invitation letters will lose their privilege to do so in future if the visitor does not return back to their home country. This is just information I gathered from locals and friends. I would therefore encourage you to make your own research before traveling. Saying that, I recently spoke to a Zambian woman who traveled to Belize on holidays from Zambia and told me she didn't need any authority to board. I also spoke to a Ghanaian who booked to have his wedding in Belize but got refused entry to his transit country, Mexico, for not having the right transit visa. At this point, can I please remind you again that I'm not a qualified travel advisor. All I'm doing is to share information gathered from my travel experiences and experiences of others.
The next question, can I get a job in Belize and how is life there? The Belizean currency is Belize dollar. Two Belize dollars will get you one US dollar. From what I know, the common job for male migrants is security and shop attendant for female. The average wage from my experience range from 200 Belize per week to 450 per week. Of course, there are people in jobs that pays more than that, but I'm not sure if you can bank on that. There are also migrants after working for some time would buy vehicles and use them as taxis. I can tell you that before the pandemic, there were a lot of jobs, but due to the pandemic, a lot of people lost them. So how easy or how difficult you can get a job, I think depends on your stars. I never rented a house in Belize, but I think the average cost of rent in Ladyville and Belize City is 450 Belize dollars per month upwards. Food cost depends on your taste. If you have taste for foreign or imported food like cereal and canned foods, then it will be expensive. But if you cook from fresh or consume locally produced food, then food cost will be moderate for you. The next question. Do you know any agent that can help me go to Belize? Unfortunately, I'm not an agent and do not know any agency that can do that. How easy or difficult is it to cross from Belize to Mexico? For foreign passport holders, you will need an American or Mexican visa to legally cross to Mexico from Belize. The border is heavily guarded during the daytime. I'm not sure how it is at night. I've heard about border jumpers, but I do not have anything to do with them or know them. However, I've seen this video about someone crossing to Mexico illegally. You can have a watch and make your own judgment. Exit here for baggage claim and connecting flights. This is the only stop. Is belief safe for visitors? Places for visitors are extremely safe. There are minor spots in the south side of Belize city where there are gang violence. To be honest, as a tourist, you don't have any business over there. So just stay away and you will be fine. For female migrants, in my opinion, I think it's good to have your partners around. I just think you'll feel much safer that way. Next question. I want to travel to Belize from Dubai. How easy or difficult will it be? In my opinion, if you have a resident permit in Dubai and would want to come to Belize for a visit, just book your hotels and tours. I don't think you will have any difficulties. I am planning to visit Belize. Do you know anyone there who can host me? I do. I'll be lying if I say I don't, but all of them has warned me not to involve them in this situation and I'll have to respect their wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made it safely to Miami, but I've got a nightmare situation. Um, I'm in my hotel right now, but when I was checking in, um, the guy over there decided to check it straight to Belize City. So maybe one thing that you have to make sure that um, they know is you are going to stop over in Miami or Houston and let them know that um, you will need your bag over there, else they will check it straight to Belize City. Can you please help me to come to Belize and also to cross to Mexico? As I mentioned earlier, I am not an agent and I don't think I will be able to help you with that. At this point, I would like to add this warning that I will never ask for money to take you to Belize. So please beware of people posing online to be me asking for money to take you to Belize. Good morning, rise and shine. And I managed to get some sleep. My time is up and I'm on my way to the airport. The next question, will I be turned back at the Belize airport? I've never seen that happen. You should be fine as long as you have the right proof to immigration that you are solely there for vacation. How do you get resident permit in Belize? To be completely honest with you, I'm not sure how it works, but I've been told to stay in Belize, you need to renew your permit every month, which cost 25 US dollars the last time I asked, which was in 2021. If you end up meeting the love of your life too in Belize, I believe you get resident permit after you get married. That's as far as my knowledge goes. Final question. Do you have any knowledge on how to travel through Central America to America? Nope, never done it and I don't know how. 
I've received a lot of questions and I believe this video has captured most of it but I'm planning to go live a week after I post this video to answer some of the questions I never touch on. I will announce it on the page at least a day before I go live. If you found this video helpful, please like it. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.